As a small business owner, it's important to understand how you can transition your business online to stay competitive, relevant, and sustainable in a truly digital world. Hey team, I hope you're well. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. Now today, I'm excited to share an overview of all the digital tools and strategies that are essential for your small business as you evolve online in 2021. Today, I'm going to cover everything you need to know to completely set up, run and grow your small business online in today's ever-changing digital landscape. Now, this video guide will help you understand what you need to know if you're just getting started in business or if you already have a small business and you just need some guidance to help you leverage the right digital tools and strategies. Okay guys, now just quickly before we get stuck into this video, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable small business tutorials and videos designed to help your business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and cover what you need to know to set up, run and grow your small business online in 2021. <music> Okay guys, so firstly we need to discuss how to create a strong foundation online and this stems from having a domain name. If you don't already have a domain name, then I invite you to go and purchase a domain name for your small business. You can do that at Google Domains or we tend to recommend hostpuppet.com because they provide great service. Now what we're going to do is actually link a beginner's tutorial up above that will guide you through the process of choosing the right domain name for your small business. So take the time to watch that tutorial if you haven't already chosen a domain name. Now, like I mentioned, having a domain name for your small business is the foundation to having a strong online presence. This is because with a domain name, you can then create a website from that domain name, which will ultimately help you build an online presence. Not only this, but you can create emails, professional emails from that domain. And this again adds to the online professionalism of your small business. So like I mentioned guys, it's important to have a strong online brand, a strong online foundation when you're transitioning your small business online. And this stems from having a strong, good, well-chosen domain name. So take the time to choose the domain name for your small business. Again, that beginner's tutorial I mentioned earlier, we'll pop that down in our description under resources. Okay, now following choosing the right domain name for your small business, we need to establish an online presence and we do that with a website. So we've built an online foundation with a domain name. Now we need to expand on that and build a website. So connect our domain name to a website and this is going to build our online authority, our online credibility and our brand and presence online. So to do that, what we can use is website builders, we can use a CMS or we can invite a website builder to help us create that website. I wouldn't say invite, but pay a website builder to create a website for you. Now, if you have a limited budget, maybe you're just getting started with your small business, then I recommend watching our website builder overview, which we'll link up above that will guide you through our top seven best free website builders for beginners, for small business owners. So that way you can select a website builder and start building your own website. We also have dozens of tutorials on this channel that will show you how to use specific website builders. So take the time to build your online presence with a website. All right, next we need to look at setting up our business emails, our professional business emails. So rather than using a free email service like Outlook or Gmail, we need to set up a business email through Google Workspace, formerly known as G Suite. This is what we use, this is what we recommend, because then you have access to dozens of powerful and popular Google applications like Drive, Documents, a website builder, Google Sheets, and many more productivity applications. So we've looked at establishing a strong online foundation with a domain name and a strong online presence with a website. Now we need to look at business communication with our customers, potential customers, leads, prospects, and we do that through a professional email. Rather than using one of these free services like we mentioned, Gmail or Outlook that have at gmail.com or at Outlook, Dot com, which are not professional emails. You want your own custom email. And that way you're going to come across more professional, more credible, and people are going to take you more seriously. So if you're not too sure where to begin when it comes to setting up your professional business emails, then feel free to watch the tutorial up above, which will guide you through how to get started with Google Workspace and set up your business emails. 
Next, we need to think about furthering our online presence. Today, we can't just rely on a website for our online presence. We need to actually focus on other platforms and build those up to increase our online exposure. To do that, what we need to do is establish social media platforms. Some of the big ones like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. These are different social media platforms that you can use to further enhance your online brand. Social media is also a great way to send traffic, organic traffic to your website, to your business. And you can also engage with your customers, engage with your audience. You can keep them up to date with new products, new services. And that way your audience, your customers are always seeing your brand as you're continuing to produce content on all these different social media platforms. So what you want to do is think about some of the important social media platforms that you can use, you can leverage to grow your brand online. I would recommend getting started with Facebook, a Facebook business page, potentially creating a Facebook business group, depending on the type of business, and also creating a LinkedIn company page, and then also an Instagram account. Also, if you believe you can create video content in your business, then I recommend setting up a YouTube account. This is a social media platform that is highly engaging with your audience. You can leverage videos on your YouTube channel, and it can help people discover you on search engines as well as YouTube search. So what you want to do is go ahead and create social media platforms, utilize social media, and this is going to complement your website. Okay, now as a local business, you need to have a Google My Business. This is the next thing we want to discuss when it comes to building your online presence. A Google My Business listing allows you to essentially drive more leads, foot traffic, online traffic to your business. Google My Business essentially allows you to put your local business on Google Maps and Google Search. This allows customers, potential customers, to find your business a lot easier. Now, Google My Business is free to set up. However, it does take time to verify. So if you don't already have a Google My Business listing, then make sure you go through that process to apply, and then it will take some time to be approved and verified. But once your Google My Business listing is approved, then you'll start seeing more leads, more traffic to your website, more foot traffic, because people can find your business on Google Maps and Google Search. And you can also engage with your customers, your audience, with the post feature within Google My Business. So this is one of the most essential online tools for any local business. Okay, now following Google My Business as a way to build your online presence for local businesses, we need to discuss other ways to generate traffic, to drive leads, to drive sales, to essentially build your business. And this is all to do with marketing. What we recommend is looking at getting into Google Ads or Facebook Ads. So you can just get started using one of these marketing tools or you can use both. Now, each of these tools are quite sophisticated and it does take time before you're comfortable with using them. So start at a very low budget with each of these marketing tools and see which works for your business. With each of these marketing tools, you can choose different goals. So for example, you can drive leads, you can drive sales, drive phone calls, or you can drive booking forms, so leads via forms. Or for example, with Facebook, you could drive engagement, video views. There's so many different goals that you can set up with your ads. With paid advertising, if this is something that you want to get involved in, so Google Ads or Facebook Ads, then what we'll do is add the tutorials down below for both Google Ads and Facebook Ads that will help you get started with both those platforms. So if you do have an allocated marketing budget, then I recommend getting started with Google Ads and Facebook Ads. See which platform works best for you and your business. See what platform you're most comfortable at using. Then you can also move further down the track and start hiring individuals, social media marketing agencies, digital marketing agencies to help you optimize your ads. Okay, now we need to discuss how you can manage all your activities online. You can do this with a project management tool like Trello or Asana. Trello is a great project management tool if you work with clients. So if you're working on projects that your team is engaging on, but you also want your clients to have access to, Trello is a great visual project management tool. Then if you're just working on projects internally, maybe you just want to manage your staff, manage specific projects, then Asana is a great internal project management tool to help you streamline project and team productivity. Both these project management tools have a free plan that are ideal for small business owners. Then as you grow, as you expand, then you can move into a paid plan. You also have access to integrations with both these tools with your other favorite apps that you use in your business. 
And last but not least, when you're transforming and transitioning your small business online, you do need to think about a CRM, Customer Relationship Management Software. This is a tool that allows you to manage all the interactions, the communications, the relationships with your customers, your prospects, those that you're interacting with within your business. Also, with a good CRM, you can integrate your other popular tools into your CRM. CRMs are essential for small businesses that are interacting with their customers, prospects on a daily basis and need to manage all that communication. For small businesses, we tend to recommend two free CRMs. The first one is HubSpot's free CRM. This is great for those just getting started with a CRM. Then we have Bittrex 24, which is a great free CRM that also allows you to engage in project management. So if you don't want to use a separate project management tool, then you can use Bittrex tricks 24. However, if you just want to focus on a good CRM, then look at using HubSpot's free CRM. However, in saying that there are other free CRMs that are available online that help you manage your customer relationships. Now, what I'll do is link our Bittrex 24 tutorial and HubSpot tutorial down below in the description to help you get started with these CRMs. And there we have it guys, that is essentially everything you need to know to completely transition and set up your small business online in 2021. Now if you have any questions about this video guide, make sure to pop them down below. Remember we have those video resources down in the description. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and with that said, we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.